Hello there. This is the family doctor. Certainly a fine lunch, Lou. Oh, uh, was it grand? Yes. I dearly love mushroom soup. And you know I do, don't you, honey? Yes, grand. That's why, um, when you telephoned me you were coming for lunch, uh, that's why I need it. Well, it was certainly thoughtful of you. Mmm. And this lemon meringue pie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought you'd like that, too. <laughs> I should say. Grant. Yes, honey? Just why did you come home for lunch today? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Why, I... I often come home for lunch, Lou. Now, you know that. I don't know anything of the kind. You haven't been home for lunch for over a month. What got into you today? Well, I just happened to be up around this neighborhood and, uh, you know, over to the window. No, that won't do either, mm-hmm. Grant. You telephoned me from your office you were coming home. <laughs> <laughs> well, what in the name of goodness are you laughing at? I don't see anything funny in my asking. Well, it was just that I was thinking, Luke. Thinking? Yeah. Nobody could ever fool any woman for long. Least of all you. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right now. Come on. Fess up. Why did you come home today? Well, I'll tell you, honey. You see, I, I, um, I, I kind of thought that, well, well you, know, you know, we don't get much enjoyment out of life. No excitement, you know. Grant Adam, you come to the point now. What are you trying to say? Well, all right, Lou. I'll tell you. There's a carnival in town. Oh. I knew it was something like that. How did you know? Because you acted just like that when the circus was in Cedarton last spring. (laughs) Well, anyway, that's it, honey. Uh, Do you think you'd mind going over there tonight with me? Why, of course not, Grant. You know, I always go along wherever you want to go. Well, I sort of thought you might not mind. (laughs) Well, I'd best be getting back to the office, I guess. Yeah, where's my hat? Right where you left it, on the corner of the sofa. Oh, all right. You'd better have dinner ready at six, honey, then we can get an early start for the carnival. All right. We can plan to leave the house by at least a quarter to seven. Fine, fine. Well, goodbye, honey, and thanks for planning to go with me tonight. (laughs) All right, Grant, goodbye. Little does he know that I've been planning all along to go to that carnival. I, I've got a confession to make to you, Grant. You have. <laughs> Well, come on. What is it? I knew there was a carnival in Cedarton tonight all the time. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, well, I, I guess there's just not any use trying to fool a woman at all. You women folk always know everything. Did you did you kind of want to go to the carnival too, honey? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, gosh, <I'm> right. <laughs> we haven't been to a carnival since Grand Junior left for college, I'll bet you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, it sort of makes me feel like a young man again. Though. Yeah? Well, I must say you're easily satisfied. If it just takes a little carnival to make you feel young again, 
What would you feel like with a great big circus? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a letter from Junior's wife today, Grant. Oh, eh? Yes. Yeah. I'll let you read it when we get home. I just want to see if you can read between the lines what I think I read. Huh? What's the matter? Something wrong? Well, I'll let you read it. Then you can tell for yourself. Uh, all right, honey. Well, here we are. Say, you'd never know that this was the corner of Walker and Maple, would you? Oh, I should say not. It looks just like the city. Uh, where do we go first, Lou? Wherever you say, Grant. Well, you know, I have always liked those uh, fairy wheels. <laughs> not fairy wheels, Grant. Wheels. <laughs> Whatever they are, I like them. And they've got that one here. Well, goodness, I can see it, can't I? All right, come on. Wait, wait a minute, honey. What's the matter? Oh, look, look, here's a, well, here's some kind of a show here. Let's drop up in here first. Grant Adams, I can see that picture. You're not going in there. Oh, oh, I see. Well, all right, honey, just as did you say. Lady, don't go out the world, Miss Tiny Tina. Weighs 427 pounds. No more, no less. What does she eat for breakfast? I shall tell you, my friend. One full wash basin of oatmeal, slab of bacon, and one dozen large eggs. Wash down with no less than one gallon of coffee, flavored with half a pound of sugar and a quart of cream. No wonder she's large. And you'll wonder when you step inside and witness this astounding array of humanity and startling representatives of the animal kingdom that await your scrutiny. Hey, Lou, let's go in there and see those people that man's talking about. Oh, Grant. Well, it only cost us 20 cents. Come on. Yeah, all right, mister. Uh, we'll, yes, sir. we'll take a couple of tickets. Yes, sir. And remember, if you're not satisfied, we should be glad to refund your money. Oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Come on, Lou. Ah, uh, ten cents, one-tenth part of a dollar. Who else wants to see this amazing show? Grant, look. What? What's the matter, honey? What in the world is that thing? Uh, let me see. Three-headed calf discovered in the wilds of deepest South American jungles. Say, what are they trying to do to us? Why, that just isn't physiologically possible. It isn't right. That's all. What? There never was a creature like that, and I just won't believe it. But, Grant, there it is. I don't care. I don't care what they say. South American jungles or South African or South Australian or anything. Things like that just don't happen. Come on, let's go. <laughs> All right, dear. Just as you say. Ten cents, sir. What's the trouble, mister? Something wrong with the exhibit? I should say there is. That three-headed calf in there. Why, why, I've never heard of such an outrage. How do you expect sane, intelligent folks to swallow anything like that? How did you ever put a thing like that together? Hmm. You ain't Dr. Adams, are you? Yes, I am, and I want my money back. Twenty cents. Oh, yeah. I get it. The boss said you might raise the uh, uh, dickens about that calf. Well, uh, let me show you this, mister. What's that? Well, I'll tell you a secret. That three-headed calf didn't come from the South American jungle. Nah, I thought so. Huh? Well, but uh, we don't want the public to know about it. And I think you'll help us keep our secret. Huh? Yeah. Because that calf is real. It does have three heads. And it was born right here in Dunlap County. But you can't put a thing like that open. What? What did you say? Yeah, it was born on the farm of one Jacob A. Kirk, ten miles east of Cedarton. What? Jake Kirk? And here's an affidavit to prove it. Oh, well, well, well I, I can't believe it. I, I've never known anything. Like, oh, come on, Lou. Let's get out of here. You want your money refunded, my friend? No, no. Come on, Lou. Uh, ten cents. One tenth part of a dollar. <laughs> Lou, what are you laughing at? Are you laughing at me? Oh, no. Of course not, dear. I'm laughing at that poor man back there, thinking he could fool you. <laughs> you are laughing at me. Well, never mind. I'm not always wrong. Well, where do you want to go next? Well, let's take a ride on the merry-go-round. It's right there, Grant. Right around that corner. I can hear it. Merry-go-round? Oh, no, honey. Not a merry-go-round. Well, why not, Trey? You want to go on a Ferris wheel? Well, I know, but they're different. Their merry-go-rounds always make me dizzy. Dizzy? Oh, I see. And Ferris wheels don't, that is? Well, yes. And anyway, I don't feel so good right now. <laughs> After looking at that cat? Yes. What? Oh, Come on, I see something over here I want to take a look at. What is it? Uh, this man over here with the walnut shells. I want to watch him from back here for a minute or two. 
Uh, don't, don't go any closer, Lou. I want to watch him from here. All right, Grant. All right. There is little P. Can you tell me, little boy? We don't have to say anything. Just point to it. That's it. This clever little lad found the pea. Now I'll try it again. Would anybody care to wager their speed if perception against my quickness of motion? I'll try anything once, folks. And if a bright young lad like this one here can solve the mystery of the little pea, surely any one of you will be able to. Well, what about you, sir? Oh, oh, what, he's uh, trying to get me? Griff Miller to bet oh, with him. Uh, uh, all right, uh, don't mind if I do. There's uh, two bits, it says. I can find it. Two bits, the elderly gentleman says. Uh, all right, folks. Now I'll place the little pea this time under the second shell. And now I move the shells back and forth. Back and forth and again, and again, and back and forth, and there you are. Now, Grandpa, where's Little P? <laughs> right there. Ah, but you're wrong, sir. Here it is, under this one. <laughs> well, the old yes, fool. Griff Miller couldn't see through that trick. Oh, well, did you see through it? Why, of course, of course I saw through it. And I'm going up there, bet a dollar, and bust that fella's game wide open. Grant, don't you do it now. Oh, it's all right, honey. Come on up with me. Stand by me. Here, you. Ah, another comer. Uh, are you willing to risk your powers of perception against my long, hard years of training, sir? Long, hard years of training fiddlesticks. <laughs> I saw how you did that trick. And here's a dollar that says I did. Hmm, this dignified gentleman talks like a gambling man. Well, sir, there's two dollars to your one that says you didn't. Shall we begin? Any time you like. All right, then. Folks, watch me carefully. I wouldn't want to be in the position of jipping this gentleman here. Now, I place this little pea under the third shell. No, you don't. What's that? Uh, you place it where I want you to place it. Now, put it there, under that second shell again, just like you did the last time. Well, oh, all right, just as you say. There, the little pea goes under the second shell. Now, I move the shells to and fro. Back and forth, back and forth, and again, and again, and there we are. Now, sir, under which shell do you say the pea resides at the present moment? Under that one, the uh, first. <laughs> and I lift the first shell. The little pea is absent. Oh. But under the second shell, there's the little pea. Sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, now, with come anybody on, else, Lou. I can try the Let's get out of here. I have much time before I move on to your sister, Theo Dunlap. <laughs> Lou, please don't laugh at me. Oh, Grant, you looked so funny when the little pea wasn't under the first shell. <laughs> yeah. uh, where are we going now, Grant? Home. Home? But you didn't have your ride on your fairy wheel. Ah, uh, bother the fairy wheel. I'm going home and read that letter from Grant Jr. And if another carnival ever comes to Cedarton again, please keep me under an anesthetic until the thing moves on to our sister city of Dunlap. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Oh, bye. <laughs>